Yo! Welcome back everybody, this is Brent Tang, I'm Brent Barnett with Gibraltar Hardware, and today we're going south. Well, to Burbank, that is. It's as far south as we're going. But today we're building a rack at center staging for a good old boy from the Florida Georgia line, Sean Fuller. We uh, had some challenges, but nothing we couldn't handle. What kind of direction were you guys looking to go with this rack? Uh, well, me and Michael have been talking about this, uh, this, this rack build for a little while now, and we're wanting to go with something that's obviously, this is a l rather large kit. On the, on the uh, kit that will be out on the fall tour, there's going to be three bass drums. So it makes things a little bit, little, bit hard, a little bit trickier to put everything on the stage that this kit is rather large on an 8x8 riser. Uh, and it's got to split in four, it's got to get off stage quickly, it's got to pack away quickly. But at the same time, we want our cake and eat it too. We want something that's going to stand out to go, wow, look at that. You know, So okay. that's kind of what we're going at with it right there. Um, and you're looking at three bass drums, three floor toms, two rack toms, two octobons, and a plethora of cymbals. So, <laughs> Oh, fun. It's going to rock. It's going to rock. It's going to rock. It's going to be huge. So uh, I'm, I'm like an octopus behind the drum kit. And I want the kit to kind of have that octopus, just like everything's just kind of flowing and very, very cool. Well, let's get started. Let's Killer. do it. Up and about right no, there. You've got, so. it. You've got it. You're right. You're about right. <laughs> and we've got a floor tom and an 18 right here. Mm -hmm. You've got over here 14. A 14 right there. Yeah. Well, and then the, the you've got hats here, so your 14 is more over here. Right. It's really exactly. in that area right there. It's a little to your left. 16 inch hats, though. That's a. That's gonna be a. Uh, some gonna work be around. interesting. Yeah. The 16 inch hats, and then you've got you crash. Mm -hmm. Crash. We're gonna do uh, basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. You know, and you're low too. The in this area, yeah, pretty, pretty, everything is pretty. Everything is pretty low. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously, like not not much of an angle this way as it just is. Just kind of like like right. that. Just very very slight angles. Um, so we'll do that, and then ride symbol over here. And We're gonna do two two crashes over here. Right? It's a twenty well twenty two at this point is what we're kind of going for. Uh, then we're gonna do like basically kind of like the the setup that I have now, which is two crashes, like a set of X hats, which are gonna be like 16 inch. It's gonna be more like an effects hat than okay. it is anything, okay? Right. Where's that sitting? That's gonna sit, to it's gonna sit lower. Above the ride? Um, the ride's gonna to come to about right yeah, there. Yeah, ride's gonna be there, crash up here, mm -hmm. crash over here. It's gonna be probably in between the two. So in, okay, yeah, in between the two, right. And then, then we'll probably go high with a china somewhere on this side, right, high so with a china on that side. Right, that's the little bit of sort of flashy mm -hmm. element we can do is build something. Yeah. Yeah. It'll stand out. And the yeah. challenge with this one is because it's a low profile rack and it's setting just so low, right. to make the rack more visible, we'll mm -hmm. just kind of get like the infrastructure of it up, mm -hmm. the, the ground support, and you know, the toms in place, right. and then we'll figure out how to kind of build on that. <coughs> some pieces maybe purely decoratively to make it look like more than it Absolutely. is. And Absolutely. And some of that, if we can take those curved bars and do something like. I don't want to get two foot riser, but I think we can get away with a little bit of coming up like this yeah. and cut it somewhere right here so if the riser, which is right here, <clears throat> so it might come out just like that. And okay. so take two of these yeah. and take your first pipe for like tom bounce and we can come out from underneath like this, mm -hmm. Yep. something like that, even more curve in it, um, right. up like that. And right. we'll think about duplicating this on this side mm -hmm. to for, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Symmetry. 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 Yeah. Symmetry. Feng shui. Feng shui. <laughs> in, a, in a similar way on this side. Right. So you have these two pieces swooping up like this from the front of the kit. Mm -hmm. And now, are you wanting this to be like connect over the bass drum or is this going to be like two side racks type of deal? I think it's two side racks. Two side racks. Oh, two side racks if we can. Okay. Stay away from anything that's going to be sort of traditional. I really dig like the length of the mm -hmm. bar right here, mm -hmm. but since it's coming so close to the edge, mm -hmm. is there any way that they would allow us to put the foot down on the floor? There's going to be metal grating, like a metal with lights underneath them. Oh, that'd okay. be a problem with moving the riser too. Probably. Yeah, that's that true. Might get, yeah, and that's then true. during set change, somebody's going to trip on that and knock it yeah, yeah. over. Although uh, attaching it to the floor, but I think it will come off the riser a little bit. Mm -hmm. It'll extend a little bit past the riser. You are going to have your bass drum. You're going to have snare drum here. A couple of octobons up in here to play with. Um, an SPD 30 pad somewhere in the neighborhood of here to where I can just reach over here. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. Or even if I have to reach back a little bit, that's fine. Um, and it's mainly just used as a, like a start-stop thing anyways. It's not a big deal. Um, 
just for comfortability though, let's kind of keep it somewhere where I don't have to go like this, you know. Um, so we'll do that. There will be three splashes in this general area too, like right around the high hats, so like maybe one or two around it. If, if I have to skip over one, that's fine, but like at least two splashes around the hi hat. Okay. Like a 10, 11 kind of thing. And I got those in there. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look rather large, and I, and to me personally, like I love that's right. Just hold that right there. Go ahead. Yeah, I love the curved bars on everything. Like I want this thing just to be like a flowing, just you know what I'm saying, like just as much flow as possible. So you have your two Chinese kind of standing up like that, with that all the bars sick. being inverted coming in mm -hmm. into the kit. That would be sick. Yeah. And you and keep in mind we've got we've got eight foot of space, so if even if we even want to just build something separate from those two rack pieces that just sat back here behind the kit. Also well, thinking about like a little workstation right there, something that would be just like uh, like literally a shelf, a rack, and then you can mount, mm -hmm. you know, since we don't have that hardware here, it'll be easy for you to mount right. on there. You, you know that uh, percussion tray that you had? Yeah, yeah there's the 12 by 12 or the 12 by 18? Or the, the, 20, or the 24 by 24? Probably the smaller ones. Oh, that 12, might be perfect 12 by 12, to set that, yeah. Set, to set that SP on. That yeah. SPDS? Table. Will that work? I don't oh, know dude, I've got a, I got something better for that. Okay, yeah, something better. I, mean, I think he's got. I think he's going to use those keyboard. It's the the, the laptop, the gem stand. Uh, like yeah. That. All right. One of the things that I was thinking mainly also is overheads. We are, from what I understand, we hadn't. Nobody has decided, you know, if we're going to go overhead with the overheads or if we're going to go under the symbols with them. Um, the way I'm seeing it is it can go either way to contingent upon space that we have to do this build with, because I do want the two chinas up there. Even if we have to like do this and then have them come out and over, you know that kind of deal. Um, but at the same time, if we can, if we can figure out a way of making, you know, a couple of these come around for the overhead strictly over the top, that'll be well, fine too. Well, there's some clamps that. Oh, we do that. Yeah, we've got. There's some mic clamps. We, we do that all the time. Attached to the pipe is really perfect. Yeah. So if we can get stuff like that for the hi hat stand, um, and honestly, like, I haven't talked to them necessarily about which mics we're going to be using right now. We're using Sennheiser stuff. Um, which just kind of clip onto the, the actual rim. Yeah. But if we get to a, you know, I've, I've actually been talking to a couple of different companies, and if we can get it to where I can come off of the, the rack itself with the, with the mics, you know what I'm saying? just got a good mic mount clamp. And also, once everything's together, there's lots of little places you can mount mics off of. We Very used true. The, the little el elbow arm things, what do you call them, mic clamps, that, uh, you know, the swivel, it's like an L shape. Oh, you're talking about uh, LP claws? LP claws. Yeah. yeah. You got grab an LP claw off of any of the tops of where these mm -hmm. boom stands going in here. My yeah. kit it was like super easy. There's lots yeah. of places and, and with the mics. That's perfect. Um, and and the, obviously the main the main thing is is like all this I want it to, it, it, I want my cake and eat it too. You know what I'm saying? Like I want it to look as awesome as possible, but keep in mind that um, I have been teching for myself. So you're going to be the one taking, tearing it down and setting there, it up? Well, for there now, will, for now I am. On, his next tour, but the, yeah. the, on the next tour, there will be a guy there, but he's also in charge of guitars and bass and that kind of thing. So he's going to do the general setup and tear down, if you will. I'm going to have to be there for like tweaks and, and, yeah, stuff, and this, yeah. that, and the other. Okay. So, the good thing know. about the rack is that once it, and it goes together mm -hmm. and you spike the riser where the feet go, mm -hmm. everything will be in place. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I mean, once you have, once you have once everything you memorized, the riser, memory, lock, memory, locked, memory locked, you can get the whole, you can probably get your whole setup done in like 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, it's I mean, very much. Uh, anybody can almost do it. That's good. Uh, and, and, and everything will be pretty much almost exact. That's awesome. God, we spent the first three quarters of the day on Building just this that. part right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're solid. You need it about like this, don't you? <laughs> this is where you need it, right?